Hi, and good evening. Nearly a month now after a man's death in the lobby of the Dallas County Jail, the sheriff has released surveillance video that shows officers on the floor restraining him. The sheriff's deputies say Joseph Hutchison parked his truck in the crosswalk in front of the jail. He then ran into the lobby where witnesses say he was yelling that his wife was trying to hurt him. First here on Fox 4 News at 6, James Rose has exclusive information about the case. James. Heather and Steve, Fox 4 News has learned the medical examiner's office is ruling Joseph Hutchison's death as a homicide, but it's not that cut and dry. Sources say Hutchison is suspected of having methamphetamines in his system and had an enlarged heart, and that could have caused his death as a result of excited delirium, such as agitation while being restrained. Now, here's a look at the video showing what happened in the last few moments of his life. This is video from the public lobby of the Loose Derrick Justice Center. We've highlighted 49-year-old Joseph Hutchison as he walks into the building August 1st. There is no audio, but it is clear his demeanor frightens several people sitting on a bench. Some leave the lobby. Others point at him as if something is wrong and a deputy approaches. Hutchison continues to walk around the lobby, sits down briefly, gets up again, and walks away from the camera with four deputies before turning around and quickly hobbling away. About a minute and a half after the first contact with deputies, a single officer tries to sit him down to control him. Seconds later, two others join in to help subdue him. A little more than two minutes after the struggle, Hutchison goes limp. We showed the video to defense attorney and reserve deputy Pete Schulte, who's not involved in the case. There's nothing that stands out in this video that I think would have caused the death of the individual by the officer's actions. Roughly seven minutes after the deputies begin subduing Hutchison, they appear to be rendering aid and giving CPR. The Dallas Sheriff's Command Staff watched the video in silence, and it was shown to reporters and had little to say afterwards. If you are in the video, or recognize someone in the video, and we have not obtained your information, please contact us. Sheriff Lupe Valdez did provide a timeline of Hutchison that morning. At 4.17 a.m. Sunday morning, she says, he checked into Parkland Hospital. At 9.48 a.m., he left Parkland Hospital against medical advice. At 10.24, roughly 30 minutes later, Hutchison walked into Lou Sturrett. Even though what happened after that is being ruled a homicide, Schulte says the medical examiner's findings do not automatically mean a crime was committed. Just because it's a homicide doesn't mean there's going to be criminal charges that are going to come out of this. Nothing that I saw in the video tells me that the DA's office would file any charges against any of these officers. As a courtesy to the family, we have shown them this video. Hutchison's family viewed the video a few hours before it was shown to the media. His brother, who called on repeatedly for the video to be released, would not talk about his reaction to what he saw. And the sheriff cautions the investigation is not over. Because this is an ongoing investigation, I will not be able to answer any questions at this time due to the wanting not to prejudice or taint this investigation. Now, that video is roughly 40 minutes long, and it shows once the deputies realized Hutchison wasn't breathing, two of the five officers restraining him spent more than 10 minutes doing CPR on Hutchison along with a jail medical technician. Now, all five officers were placed on restrictive duty as the investigation continues. Dallas Sheriff Association Chairman Captain Don Rose says he stands behind those officers and says he wants them back on full duty as soon as possible. The sheriff, as you heard, would not comment on the internal investigation. Heather, Steve. All right. James Rose in our newsroom. Thank you.